Hello and welcome to Retro Games Play Badly. After a short break, we're back with some more of this wonderful Grim Fandango game. First, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Now, let's go see if we can remember what we need to do. Ah, yes, standing precariously above a load of kitty crap. Poor man, he's been stood here for a week waiting for me to come back. Oh, I can't remember if we've been this way before. No, definitely not. Very swanky, though. Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. Yeah, right. It oh, is right. members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. VIP pass? Uh, the guy who can forge documents. It's a long way to the top, eh? Little further. Little further. Oh man, I'm gonna need to sit down and a drink after this climb. Ah, I see Glottis is still tickling them ivories. You keep playing, boy. You'll be a star one day. Yo, piece of lore, I need you to make me a VIP card so I can get in with the snooty people in town. Manny? Uh, oh, well, I guess I do need a fake union card as well. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny, are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Well, got the VIP card without even asking for it. See you later, Peter Lord. Have fun with your crippling gambling debts. Mid Anything new to say to Glottis? Oh, oh yeah, let's just rub the VIP card in his face. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I haven't actually been in, but just based on the entrance, yes. Yes, it is. I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Oh, God. Glottis has a drinking Glottis? problem? Compadre? No, Glottis. I only just got that card and I need it to progress. Well, I guess I can be Piano Man now. Ooh, 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 yeah. Don't be so sarcastic. Play it again, Manny. You're walking a thin line there. Uh, I forgot your name. Bo Peep, Bo Diddley. Uh, probably doesn't even start with Bo. Manny! Oh, uh, what now? Bo Bimbo? I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. I'm sticking with that Bo Bimbo name. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Well, I guess I'll just walk away and leave you to it then. I'm a VIP now, Mr. Stereotypical French Waiter. Oh, he's not even there. Good thing he didn't ask to see my card. Oh, Glottis, what are you doing there? Yeah! Who are you talking to? That's some strong drink to create imaginary friends. What's that? Ah, it's the combination of Ringo Starr and Pierce Brosnan's Bond. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't sell drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. Oh, well, don't make that too obvious, will ya? No, pick it up before he does. Ah, too slow. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Uh, everything all legal? Well, we both know nothing here is. 
Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Ah, yes they do, but no one else around here does. Oh, Manny, you, you hate cats? I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. I figured dogs would be everyone's worst nightmare around here, you know, with all the bones in that. Well, see you later, Dick. Uh, I mean, nice Nick. talking with you, Nick. Been a slice. M Manny, just take his case quick while he's not looking. Nah, he'd see me do it. Okay, I guess he was looking then. What else can we use? The hell is this? Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. I bet he didn't feed him any breadcrumbs, did he? He just left him to die. To die? Oh, let's give him some alcohol, make him blackout drunk. I don't really want to do that. Oh, why not? You don't have a drink together? Oh, yeah, let's just sore his face off, then he can't see us pick it up. The can opener wouldn't work there. I don't know, I think I do a pretty good job of soaring open his skull. Into the kitchen to watch them spit in everyone's food. Guaranteed he either spits or urinates in that keg. Oh, the turkey baster. I remember what I need to use this for. Looks like a turkey baster. It is indeed and it shall be very useful. Let's check the pantry out. Can I go inside? Oh, no, I guess not. That monster upstairs is running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Ah, oh, yes, nothing's more insulting than giving a European man an English name. Oh, oh, lock him inside, lock him inside. Yeah, let's see you get snooty in there now. I'm guessing I need to use the scythe to lock it properly. Don't worry, Roy. At least you won't die of starvation in there. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a public, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. What are you doing drinking from that tiny mm. spout, Glottis? Mm. Just mm. crack it open. Mm. Fruity, but voluminous. Oh yes, we're quite the wine connoisseur, aren't we? Chugging it from a keg. Uh, I guess I can put something in here and spike it, maybe? There's no opening up here. Well, we can soon rectify that with the kitty can opener. Careful you don't saw your arm off, Manny. There's no flesh protecting the bone. Oh, self-opening. Very nice. Uh, what now? Oh, apparently we just climb in it. Okay. Well, somebody's sleeping on the job. Someone's gonna be sleeping off a really nasty hangover tomorrow. Ah, it's empty. <coughs> Ruben, where are you? I'm sorry, does Manny weigh absolutely nothing at all? Taking a little nap, a vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine. Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Well, never get yourself locked up in a North Korean prison then, eh? Surprise, it's a man in a barrel! 
Uh, I'm guessing I need to use this thing now, right? We'll just take it into the VIP room and impale it on that guy so we can get a cigarette case. Can I actually impale someone if they don't have any flesh? Push the button, Manny. Let's go on a murderous rampage with a really slow forklift. Slowly running into everyone. Oh no, I think the door's too small. Well, there goes my plan for completing this game. Well, this thing obviously has some use that isn't murder related, but I can't remember what it's used for. Oh, wait, there's an entrance there. Go back up, Manny. We need to try and time it so we can stop at the right place. And now. Hmm. No effect. Okay, I guess we timed it badly. Try again. No, hmm. no, come back here. No okay, I know what this murder machine is actually supposed to be used for. I need to place it in those slits in the gate and then I can jam the elevator. It's not for murdering anyone. <laughs> okay, Manny, push the button. And then go back in quickly. You don't want to miss it again. Right, I'm perfectly positioned. I know there's still a chance I could screw this up, but let's hope not. Go, go for it, go for it! Oh! And, and now what? I, I can't squeeze through there, can I? C can I lift the gate up? I can't squeeze through that crack. No, well, I figured you weren't Macho Manny. Uh, I don't want to push the button because I might cause the thing to flip out everywhere. Oh, is this a lever? Is it as simple as just flipping a lever? Yes, it is as simple as just flipping a lever. Well, I've been here for quite a while. Ooh, the neglected part of the city. Careful, Manny, you don't want to get shanked down here. Oh, is this a suitcase I need? For Peter Lore? Neil, it's full of double end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles? I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. Well, you need all the muscle you can get. None of us have a single muscle on our bodies. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Well, it's nice to see that you know you're a complete goon. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Ah, oh, you been paying your dues soon enough, you damn dirty rat? Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> well, let's go back to enjoy the comforts of the VIP lounge. Get that Guess I should try to take your cigarette case from you, uh, Ringo Bond. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Well, man to you too. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Trouble's my middle name. Used to be my first name, but people just kept saying, well, here comes trouble. So I had to change it. I'm starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? They're loaded. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Well, that depends, Nick. Are you a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. All right, Nick the Dick. Don't overdose on your ego trip there. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Oh, I really don't want to stroke his ego anymore, but I feel it's the only way I can progress. Oh, all right then. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Oh, you really are Nick the Dick. Well, I didn't mean anything I said before. Not sure how useful this is going to be. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. Whoa, puss-eyed puss. That's a good band name. 
Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Ooh, I'm gonna blackmail you so you have no choice. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone because I'm sick of looking at you. Oh, are you just gonna leave your cigarette case lying around? Yeah, I'm gonna swipe that. Won't be there when you come back. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Well, I imagine that's the key he so painfully obviously dropped. Okay, we can go sort out that turkey baser thing now. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. No, I'm just trying to leave. I, I know I have a habit of pushing myself into places I don't belong, but I'm really just trying to leave this time. Oh, where does this doorway go to? Ah, up here with Gladys. How's it going, Gladys? You're doing right there. Oh God, not so much. You got it. What are you talking to? What is this? Spotlights? I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? I'm not sure if he has a gambling problem or a drinking problem or That's both. Oh, Gladys. I guess we really do need to leave this place. It's not good for either of us. Into that swinging joint, Daddy O. Where you can fill up your turkey baster. Fill it up with that dirty hookah water, then I guess we can use it as a date rape drug. Oh, we need that little red book. Try not to tell them you want to read it on the toilet again. So, uh, what did you think of the poem? I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too short. It said nothing to me, like my father. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much, like my cat, Mr. Trotsky. I didn't want your confusingly worded reviews. I just wanted the book. Maybe I can exchange something for it? The hell is that? The union card? I don't think they need that. I don't think they want an expensive cigarette case either. You guys want to get blackout drunk and then I can just take it from you? I don't really want to do that. Oh, why does no one want to get blackout drunk with me? Really you guys want a metal detector? I mean a jazz detector? That's more your thing, right? I don't really want to do that. Fine, I shall find all the metal myself. What thing haven't we tried yet? Uh, this scrap of paper? Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale. A spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so... Uh, oh, Manny, you're really picking up that beatnik lingo now. Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. And now that I have your respect, gentlemen, may I commandeer your little red book? Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Oh, Manny, see, you're finally making friends. You just need to speak their language. Now, what's this book you were holding on to so tightly? Labor Organization and Revolt Made Easy. Chapter 1. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. The Working Man's Book? Well, I wasn't expecting that from a load of beatniks. I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this book now. Wait, what was the book about again? Labor Organization and Revolt Made Easy. Chapter 1. The workers shall control the means of production. Labor Organization and Revolt? Uh, the, the bees, the bees, the worker bees. These poor underprivileged bees need to rise up against the powers that be. That be? Check this book out, boys. It'll blow your tiny little minds. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers 
shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan. That's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Well, I guess I'll have to go back and speak to Nick the Dick then. But you know what? I think we'll save that for another day. Uh, we'll finish this video here for today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe as we continue to play through this. Thank you for watching and have a good day.